Okay, now we're um, back on part two of lesson 20. We're looking at multi-frame animation. Um, and so this is uh, basically how it is that we get things to appear as if they're moving in um, code.org using the animation tool. Up till this point, we've only been using this animation tab um, to just get um, our drawings and our sprites kind of um, organized. We can change animation, and what we've been doing is changing animation by changing it to a, um, a different little um, picture. Uh, but in this case, what we're doing is we're going to be creating multiple frames to be able to show how something is moving um, throughout the course of one of our uh, programs. In this case, the uh, Cake Defender uh, game. So in the Simple Defender game, the sprites themselves were animated. Before getting started on programming this game, let's take a minute to get familiar with this new way of animating sprites. So this program already includes several sprites, but they don't yet have animations. Go to the Animation tab and check the multi-frame animations already added to your project. Choose one of them for each of your characters. Remember, you can use Set Animation to give your sprites animations you've created in the Animations tab. So we have a variable Alien, we have the variable Ladybug, um, which are put just on the screen, and they just look like these nice um, squares here. So if we're going to do the simple ones and just do what it is that they've told us um, and what they've put together for us, if you look here at animation, we have the alien is going to be walking, and he's doing so just by having these two um, different uh, animations or different um, frames that it loops back and forth between. And you can see here, he's going pretty fast because it's set as going really fast. So you can slow that down if you don't want him to go quite as fast. Uh, Ladybug is kind of uh, doing the same thing. So you can see here, you've got two different little animations. Uh, one where he's elongated and one where it's shorter. Um, and it kind of looks like the Ladybug is um, moving itself kind of uh, like a snail, I guess, um, pulling itself along. Um, on in this animation. So in our, our code, in order to kind of follow their instructions, all we really need to do is um, set our animations. So we're just going to drag this on over here, and we say alien.setAnimation, and we're going to change it to alien walk, and then uh, we're going to do the same thing as well with the ladybug and set animation and we're going to change it to ladybug one now notice i'm using these arrows i've noticed in uh class when we were together like a month ago um many of you would just try to um kind of go here and then copy what's here onto um, what's in your code but if you're using the blocks it's really easy all you got to do is just click this little arrow and you can select between what animations are currently available if you are using the um, the text here, which I strongly recommend that you actually start doing now that we're 20 lessons in, you should be able to type this stuff and have instead of having to do the blocks all the time, um, you would then have to copy and paste um, those those names. And so then when we run them, you can see here we've got the alien is taken off and ladybug is moving as well. They're not going anywhere, but they look like they're going somewhere, and that's what animation is, uh, the illusion of movement here. So we uh, go ahead and finish this uh, lesson, this puzzle, number four. Uh, we're going to continue looking at these uh, animations here. Uh, time to start learning how to control the multiple frame animations. And I kind of pointed this out already. Uh, your sprites should be animated, but they're moving really quickly. So head back to the Animation tab. Underneath each animation, you should see the slider. Use the sliders to slow down your animations so they look more um, realistic. And so all you've got to do for this one, this puzzle, is you click on here and then um, move him so that he's going a little bit slower. Maybe not that slow, but we want him to be kind of walking along. So there we go. And then on our ladybug, we're going to um, slow her down to maybe halfway as well. There we go. And so then uh, now when we run our code, run, you can see they're, they're both kind of moving at the same pace now. Okay. And then that's all you have to do. 
for uh, puzzle number five really quick. So go ahead and we'll just hit finish here and then continue on. And um, now if we want to edit, so your sprites will look a lot more realistic if they turn around when they're moving. You can switch back and forth between multi-frame animations when the user presses different keys. So read this code and run the program. Make sure you know how the sprite responds to the arrow keys. In the animation tab, create a copy of the alien animation by clicking the following button, the copy, and then use the flip tool to flip your animation. Make sure you flip both frames using this button. Rename your new animation. Use your new animation and old animation so the alien faces the correct direction when moving. Where do you think you'll need to set the sprite's animation in your code? Um, so this, we've kind of already done. We did um, a while ago when we first learned about using the arrow keys with the ladybug. And we rotated the ladybug moving up and down. Granted, at the time, we didn't have the multi-frame animation. We just had the ladybug and it just moves. But now, we just take that same skill and we're going to apply it to the multi-frames. So if we look at the code here, We've got our little alien guy, and we can move um, him to the left, or we can move him to the right. But he's facing the same direction all the time. So we're going to go into our animation, and we're going to create a copy here. Okay? So I think it probably would be easier, instead of saying uh, alien pink walk one, we're going to say alien pink and we're going to say um, the alien is going to the right. And then the next one, we're going to change and say alien pink left. Okay, but on alien pink left, we have to change each of the frames in this animation. So we can't just click on the, um, the animation and do the, the mirror. We have to do it on each frame. So we click on frame one here, and then we're going to flip vertically. And then frame two, see, because right now he's going back and forth. It's really confusing. So frame two, we're going to flip this one vertically as well. And so now he, um, the alien is walking to the left, and this alien is walking to the right. So um, the problem here, though, is we've got different speeds. So this one's going right in the middle, and this one's going really fast. So we want to either have both of them fast or both of them kind of in the middle. So I'm going to uh, put mine both kind of in the middle. Okay, so in the middle, in the middle, and then in my code, um, rename my animation, which we did. Uh, use your new animation and old animation so the alien faces the correct direction when moving. Um, and so that, of course, is going to answer this question. Where do you think you'll need to set the sprites animation in your code? That's what we're doing here. So when we push the left arrow, we want it to go to the left. When we push the right arrow, we want it to go to the right. We also have to change this set animation because I changed the name of the animation. So um, lazy way to do that is go back to our blocks, and then we're going to um, set the alien to default going to the right because that was the original one. Uh, and then go back to our text, and we can just copy this here copy and we can put it in where we have the left control and put it in where we have the right control and of course this one for left we got to change to actually say left and now when we run we're going to the right and then when we push left he's going to the left and going back to the right and there we have it we've been able to um, change the animation and change it so they face the right direction. And I believe this is all we need for our animation. I think we now go to the back to the um, Defender game. So there we go. Um, hope this is helpful. Did three puzzles in one long video. And uh, congratulations on making it to the end.